Now. <laughs> you can just relax, right? We're, we're among friends. Yeah, me and my family, we were looking for natural solutions at that time. And I came to know about doTERRA through one Malaysian family. I follow them on Facebook, and they're very popular, the Adams Autism family. So then I became very obsessed, obsessed watching them. And I was very, you know, intrigued to know about these oils because I've never used essential oils in my life. And then to see them use the oils and to see how calm the boy becomes after the, after the usage of the oils made me more interested in the oils. And then one day I just sent a text to the father saying, hey, I'm from India. <laughs> I just want to be enrolled after you, but it was during the COVID times and he told me, well, I'm so sorry, I can't, you know, send the products from Malaysia to India, so uh, you can't enroll under me. Then that no gave me more motivation, <laughs> actually. So I wrote a mail to Dr. Global, then they asked me I can join as a GAC member, but then I was searching all over the net for doTERRA India, doTERRA India. Then I f finally found you. <laughs> and so that yeah, here, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna say that shows you how impactful social media can be. Right. You know, because she found the oils through social media. So, um, what I wanted to ask you was, you know, shortly after you began. We had a worldwide pandemic that was really hard. And so when things got hard with the pandemic or when things get tough in your business, how do you keep going? How do you push through it and, and not give up? Well, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. <laughs> so when the lockdown happened, I decided the lockdown would not lock down my life. So then I pursued some of my friends. Then they said yes. The first lady who said yes, what, what is my the silver leader, Lanina Jagir. And I'm always thankful to her. Then just grew on and on. Because though I didn't know much about the oils, a lot of my members had already been using the oils for a long time. And that is how we started the business and here we are. That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about how you build your business. Where's your focus? You know, are you sharing? Are you doing things online? Are you teaching? What, what are you doing to build your business? Well, a lot of people even today were asking me, what's your secret? <laughs> then I just told them, told them, love the oils. They can't believe me. <laughs> but see, I joined doTERRA even without using the oils. I didn't even know the compensation plan. And so like, I was so obsessed with the oils that my husband and kids thought I was going crazy. I could even smell the oils, you know. Like, you know, I was so crazy because I was so obsessed because I I started watching the videos. I started, you know, questioning myself, what are these oils? Why are these people smelling the oils? Because I could see so many testimonials in the videos and I could see the genesis of doTERRA and how doTERRA was Haunted. Then, you know, things happen like that. You know, there is so supernaturally given to me. And so, my personal experience with doTERRA is what I share with people. And it has really empowered me, and people get empowered. And I'm so blessed. And it's the commitment. It's the commitment you have to show up. That is what we do. You have to. Uh, recruit, 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 recruit. <laughs> so that is what we do. Recruit, recruit, and recruit. Get connected with your all and new members. Get in touch with every member in your team. That is how you build the team. No secret. <laughs> wow, amazing. So in the Senla, what do you love the very most about doTERRA? Like, how has it changed your life? Well, I've never seen a company like doTERRA. 
And I've never seen any international uh, leaders coming in these numbers to India or even to my state. Because look, there is something different. We have so many international companies in India, but I've never seen the commitment like the doTERRA international leaders like now. So there is something. I always say there is really something. And when I first enrolled, you know what you told me? <laughs> you say, Nasella, <laughs> you don't know what you have enrolled me. You don't know what doTERRA is. And every single day it's manifesting. And I'm so blessed that I found this company and I found you. <laughs> Yeah. And I just love the compassionate culture, the generous compensation plan, the plan of doTERRA, and the different range of products that doTERRA has to offer us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I have one more question, and that is, you answered this a little bit when you came up on stage before, but what does it mean to you to be a doTERRA India founder, the first doTERRA India founder? When I first enrolled with doTERRA, I never imagined one day that I would be a founder. I, I never imagined that I would take this very seriously because I was only into the oils. Because I've never be, been a leader before <laughs> and I never believed in myself, but because of the strong education that Rotary gives us, because of the committed leaders that I have in the team, like you, Becky, always grateful to Becky. Also, I always tell her, and the strong corporate leaders, I'm able to build the business, and I'm you know, so grateful. Thank you so much for that, and give it up for Imna Senna.